so uh, my topic is uh, quality assurance program in radiotherapy uh, i told you yesterday it is very important part of the medical physics medical physicist and uh, this short time i will uh, try to explain the five terms yeah the definition needs of quality assurance in radiotherapy requirements on accuracy uh, in radiotherapy and accident in radio radiotherapy yeah this is a very uh, important term and legal legal and other aspects and this is this is the management of quality assurance program and maybe a small example from the uh, how it construct here yeah. in germany many many hospital in europe also they have the quality management program you have learned yesterday or are many of you i think also experience to create a quality assurance program in their hospital yes and so you have the experience uh, so uh, i think the beginners can start uh, such types of program in our hospital uh, so uh, first of all some definitions you can find every medical physics book uh, these are the uh, terms sometimes we mix it sometimes it's not difficult to differentiate it but they have a clear definition and uh, we should aware with this the quality assurance and quality control on everybody medical physics actually know the quality control every machine every tps there is a quality control pro, uh, quality control qc but the quality assurance is more than that uh, and quality system and quality assurance in radiotherapy and quality standard uh, these are all the definition come from iso uh, 6000 and it is actually applicable for every product and process but we apply this one in the uh, radiotherapy uh, just i go one by one uh, what is uh, quality assurance it is actually the definition from book uh, it is all those planned and systematic action yeah every hospital they have their actions yeah they do everything i think was is possible and was is needed but it is actually the planned and systematic can we follow your program in the hospital can follow the other hospital can come in audits can follow all the things you are doing this that's why it's called planned and systematic action necessary to provide adequate confidence that a product or service will satisfy the given requirements for quality Uh, such as quality assurance is arranging and covering all these your procedures activities actions groups of staffs and this is actually the management of quality assurance program is called quality man uh, quality systems management yeah and this is the last uh, last uh, chapter i will explain the quality uh, system management yeah then quality system it is again have defined Uh, and it consists an organizational structure responsibilities is given very different uh, to peoples in the department or an inter department and the procedures is also defined very clear and processes they have many many processes in the hospital and of course the resources yeah when there is no many resource some hospital so we have many less manpower we cannot realize such types of program so resources is also important of course uh, these people are very flexible when they are working with the people so they can convince the people such types of people make a group and these are the resources not only the manpower but also resources to do yeah we have a manual maybe for the quality control brachytherapy then should i should we have all the uh, qc um, equipments yeah therefore the resources is important to realize uh, the quality assurance program 
And here is the quality control. Yeah, I do not go to details. We know every medical fees is the quality control for specific machines and uh, specific uh, software. We have also quality control. Yeah, when actually for the quality control to check that quality requirements are met to adjust a correct performance if the requirements are found not on have not met. Yeah, we have a, a standard uh, manuals or uh, protocols or recommendations there they clarify the procedures and act actually the limits value. We should always adjust, the, we control it and when the limit value exceeded we have some actions and to re, re again make the uh, things. Uh, quality standard, without quality standard quality cannot be assessed. Yeah, this is a quality standard and uh, quality assurance in radiotherapy. Now we come in radiotherapy is all procedures that ensure constancy of the medical prescription and safe fulfillment that radiotherapy related prescription, yeah, it is, uh, you see, here is quality assurance, these are the prescription. Yeah, we know everybody, the optimal dose to the PTV or a target volume, minimum dose to the normal tissue, adequate patient monitoring aimed at determining the optimal end result of the treatment and minimal exposure uh, of the personnel. So these are the requirements for the quality assurance. This is the outcome or uh, the prescription. And these are all the quality standard in radiotherapy. Uh, various uh, national international organization have issued recommendation for standard radiotherapy. You see the World Health Organization, European Society for Therapeutic uh, Radiation Oncology, they have also such types of standard and clinical oncology information network. And here is important where recommend, recommended standards are not available, local standards need to be developed based on the local assessment of the requirements. As you can develop your uh, own uh, standard, uh, naturally it is very easy when you have some, uh, uh, some uh, uh, here the uh, recommendations. Uh, you can also take the recommendations or any proto, any uh, quality standards, radiotherapy from other hospital and check it through one of the protocols. In Europe, uh, we use most the European society for here. Yeah, the need of quality assurance in radiotherapy, I have uh, uh, shown, I do not know, you have seen sometimes the Hartmann maybe, uh, Gunther, have you shown this one? No, okay, uh, actually it is from the Germany, it is a very nice one, I, I got to uh, project is always you have learned the localized tumor 58% uh, uh, and metastatic in 42 and most of the European country even America may be the same statistic you see here the other modalities the chemotherapy, uh, surgery and radiotherapy and radiotherapy combination here 18% but very important you see here these two, uh, two column one palliative treatment in 37%. And here is the failure of local control in 18 percent. When, when you have quali through quality control on other instances, you can have the potential to increase the improvement of therapy. Yes. When here is actually palliative therapy, this is also potential to improve in diagnostic. That means we have a huge potential to improve uh, the things of diagnostic and radiotherapy to increase the number of uh, control localized or a metastatic tumor. Yeah, everybody knows this uh, safety series uh, from IAEA and here they are advised or are recommended that the comprehensive quality assurance program for medical exposure is needed and it should be established with the participation of appropriate qualified expert in the relevant field such as radiophysics. Taking into account the principle established by Wu and PAHO from South America, uh, uh, this actually is, uh, we must establish a quality uh, program. And again, here for the other paragraph, they are giving more specified 
and quality assurance program for medical exposure shall include measurements of the physical parameters of the radiation generators, linear accelerator and uh, imaging devices and irradiation installation at the time of commissioning and periodically thereafter. We have to specify it. We should do establish a quality assurance program. Verification of the appropriate physical and clinical factors used in patient diagnostic and treatment. Yeah, this is actually the safety series. And nationally, we have also ordinance there uh, given also the same recommendations. And here, it helps to provide the best treatment. Yes, it is a characteristic feature of modern radiotherapy process that this process is a multidisciplinary process. Therefore, it is extremely important that the radiation therapist, in this case radiation oncologist, cooperates with specialists in various disciplines in close and effective manner. The various procedures will be subjected to careful quality control. And the establishment and use of comprehensive quality system is an adequate measure to meet these requirements. So, and main objectives, yeah, you see it provides measure to approach the following objectives, reduction of uncertainty and errors, yes. This is what we have done every day. And reduction of the livelihood of accident errors, yeah, it is also important that the accident should not be done. And provided reliable intercomparison of results among different radiotherapy centers. Uh, and the exploitation of improved technology and more complex treatment in radiotherapy. These are all the objective provided to approach in the following, uh, in the uh, quality assurance program. Yeah, everybody knows this is a complex, radiotherapy is a very uh, multidisciplinary complex equipment system and uh, in quality assurance and quality control is always needed. Otherwise, you cannot use uh, such types of complex machines or equipments. So yesterday I have shown is also in radiotherapy is a huge chain. So all the chains in quality control is important. Yesterday we have learned uh, the positioning and the accuracy in dosimetry on treatment planning and a huge uh, impact uh, for the patient when there is a no quality control is there is some uh, 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 quality is not there. So it is actually needed the radiotherapy and now the requirement of accuracy in radiotherapy, how we define the accuracy, we always calibrate uh, uh, our radiation and uh, you see which accuracy is needed for absolute, absolute absorbed dose and uh, which accuracy is needed in spatial distribution of dose, geometrical accuracy of treatment unit and patient uh, positioning, these two. And here actually the ICRO report 24 includes an uncertainty of 5 percent is tolerable in the delivery of absorbed dose to the target, uh, target volume. Every hospital fix, our hospital photon radiation we have fixed 2 percent and electron radiation 5 percent. Yeah, we control it when more than 2 percent then we try to readjust it again. So you can also uh, add more tightly than this. Yes. So the example, because the electron uh, photon radiation, uh, you can handle it better. So we have to fix it two percent. Yeah, and more than two percent in quality control, we readjust the machine. When electron is five, so uh, this is the value generally interpreted to uh, represent a confidence level of one comma five to two times of standard deviation. And currently, you know this uh, minus 5 to 7 percent uh, recommended delivery of dose uh, in the 95 confidence level. And uh, on geometric uncertainty, yeah, for example, a systematic error on the field position, block position relative to target volume or organatrix also lead to do, uh, dose problem. It is an underdosing of the required volume when the decreasing the TP, TCP and overdosing of nearly uh, uh, 
uh, organatrix, for example, increasing the NCTP. 5 to 10 millimeter are usually given the tolerance geometrical uncertainty. Yes, uh, we have also discussed uh, yesterday 5 centimeter, how we uh, take the boundary of the PTV. Here, uh, you know, when this, here is a very stiff um, uh, uh, curve, and when you change a little dose here, then uh, this NCTP and TCPT changes rigorously. Therefore, the uncertainty in delivered dose translate into either reduction in the TCP or increase the NTCP, both of which are chosen in clinical outcome. Yeah, in here in, uh, in radiotherapy, actually we have two things. Uh, when we exceed the limits, it also uh, overdose and underdose. But it is in radiotherapy an accident or mit, miss administration is significant if it results in either an underdose or an overdose. Whereas in conventional radiation protection, only overdose are generally concerned. Yeah, here is twofold. Yeah, underdose is also problem, overdose is also problem. But radiation protection actually the overdose. So how we define the accident in radiotherapy? From the general aim of accuracy approaching pipe, a definition for accidental exposure can be derived here. This is a clear uh, definition. A generally accepted limit is about twice the accuracy requirement. That is, 10 percent difference should be taken as an accidental exposure. We have limited the 5 percent. When the deviation is more than 10 percent, this is accident. And it can be observed in the normal tissue when such types of differences is there. So accident in radiotherapy, uh, you can also download the this, uh, this safety report series uh, 17 and uh, they have uh, uh, incidents all over the world is uh, listed there and uh, uh, discuss about such types of mis uh, accidents and give some recommendation how can you overcome this. And here uh, the direct causes of misadministration. Uh, Contribution factors, preventability of misadministration and classification of potential hazards. I can draw here. These are the taken some snap from this book. You see the uh, calculation error of time and dose in 15 places they have found it. An inadequate review of the chart. These are all the parameters uh, can be. Even here, uh, error in calibration of cobalt 60 sources. Uh, technologies misread the treatment time in monitor unit. Yeah, these are all the uh, mistakes and misadministration come every day. So we should be very alert and a quality control program with very systematic and uh, st uh, and. Uh, organized way so that we can overcome such types of mistake in our hospital. Yeah. Even in Germany, some hospital, they have um, uh, uh, breast cancer in right side when they uh, treated the patient in left side. Yeah. We have the report, it's just this same patient, they do not document or like this or they have stress and so treated the other breast. Even the patient do not <laughs> recognize her uh, um, breast of cancer. So, German uh, legislation, uh, actually the legal and other aspect is given. We have already seen I, IAEA and here in addition to this uh, regional recommendation and quite practical reason, there is also crucial legal uh, uh, regulations because they are normally subjected to national laws. The following two examples for refer to German legislation. Here, the Social Gazette's book on German social security, and it is a radiation protection ordinance, I think so, yeah. Uh, 
And see here, uh, in the social security book, the services organization are obliged to maintain and develop the quality of their services. Yeah, this is clear, defined in these laws of these countries. And hospitals have to implement a quality management system. So you must do that. And again, here, uh, radiation protection law in German, here the Stahlenschutz Verordnung. And you see here the quality maintenance for medical application of radiation. Yeah, this is the paragraph 83 here, the quality maintenance. So this uh, quality assurance actually in the laws uh, defined. And in Europe, uh, a form policy statement document, uh, the core uh, curriculum for medical phase is in radiotherapy. And in following, uh, these are the uh, principle of quality management. You see here, all uh, things are uh, given very well. The quality management requires an organizational structure. This is very important, and quality system, wherein responsibilities, procedures, process, resources are clearly defined. Yeah. The hospital also obliged to uh, give you some uh, equipment. Yeah. Uh, sometimes in the hospital, when every two years there is an external audit, when they come, you can have good relation as medical physicists and ask them, we, we need this instrument and that instrument. They write their report. So the administration is obliged to, uh, to uh, give you the permission to buy uh, 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 such types of equipment. Yeah. So sometimes you are waiting. Yeah, the next check will tell them when they write in the protocol. Yes, they need a TLD, a TLD readers. So the next in three months you have the TLD readers. But sometimes you apply for the TLD readers. There's no money. Why you are don't give us uh, the first in the beginning of the accelerator? It is thirty thirty uh, thousand um, uh, euro. We do not have this money. But when this the external audits right, and you have this. It is one of our medical physics. We are very <laughs> happy to have these audits. But actually, you have also your work. Yeah, the whole things. Actually, the uh, uh, quality assurance program. The medical physicist is the driving role. Yeah, not the uh, chief physicist, but one of the physicists who is very good. Uh, um, cooperation. Sometimes the second man or the third man. They have better uh, better entrance to the, all the. Uh, technician and uh, doctors, and so he actually the team leader. Yeah, select anybody in team leader. They have very good contact with the all departments uh, personnel. So here actually uh, defined everything. I will not uh, read details. It is also boring. Yeah, uh, this lectures is all the terms and definitions. Uh, but the next lecture you find your own work. I think uh, Dr. Tung uh, can explain what is your daily checks on everything. And it's more interesting. But uh, you should know actually the, oh, the quality assurance, it is more than the quality. Managing a quality assurance program this is very important. How you manage it, uh, it must be understood that the quality uh, required quality system essential, a total management system for the total organization and for the total radiation therapy process. I think the whole hospital a quality assurance program will radiation therapy is a part of that. And when you have a very good quality assurance program, then we will get also certificate from the uh, from the uh, government. And this certificate is actually, you can uh, take a monogram from this certificate and put in the hospital, uh, hospital uh, registered. And so even the patient, yes, Peter, yeah. thank you very much. Uh, and uh, even the patient, uh, they uh, want to say, not only in this hospital do you 
do you have uh, MR, MRT? Yes, some, some of the patient come and ask, do you have MRT in your department? What is what it mean, MRT? Because the best qualified treatment. Now they are also asked, you are a quality assurance program certificate. So the people are always uh, more conscious. Yeah, they, they are very conscious on to select such types of hospital who have a very good quality assurance program. Yeah. Even sometimes small and medial, medium hospital had quality assurance program than the very big uh, university hospital. Yeah, so uh, they select uh, such types of hospital. So here uh, the total radiation therapy process includes clinical radiation oncology service, supporting care services, and all issues related to radiation treatment. And here radiation oncologist, uh, physicist, engineer, maintenance and management. Yeah, these are recommendation documents. Uh, you know, many of us, uh, uh, we know these uh, documents. And for in Europe, this is ESTRO in 1995 and so. In this report, you can use in Europe and uh, uh, have your uh, quality assurance program. But we have also very important, uh, interesting documents from here, uh, from America, on other countries. So, uh, here actually multidisciplinary radiotherapy team, the team should be uh, multidisciplinary, you see, not the physics, uh, physicist themselves to do the quality control, but the whole team. And here the radiotherapy process, for, for a radiotherapy process to control it, radiation oncologist, medical physics, uh, this is a dosimetrist is not uh, uh, famous in Europe, but in America they have the medical physicist and dosimetrist. Uh, I think it is sometimes very good, yeah, um, uh, because somebody had on, only bachelor in medical physics and uh, they do not do any master and somebody is master, how can you apply them in the clinical? I have my own experience. I tried to introduce uh, dosimetrist to Bangladesh. It is not easy, yeah. But I think when you have dosimetrist, uh, sometimes you can division of work is better. Yeah, there's advantages and disadvantages. I do not know. Uh, but uh, in America, they have the dosimetrist, and our next speaker can maybe uh, tell uh, better. And engineering, and of course RTTR. This group has an important part in the output of the entire process and their overall, role, their overall roles as well as their specific quality assurance role are independent requiring close cooperation. And it is the quality system, it is widely appreciated that the concept of quality system radiotherapy is broad, yeah this is actually the, uh, I have already uh, described. It is not restricted to the definition of technical maintenance and quality control of equipments and delivery. Actually, what is quality assurance? Instead, it should compromise a comprehensive approach to all activities in radiation department, starting from the moment of passion entrance in it and until the moment it leaves. Also, the continuing into the follow-up follow -up period. Here you have seen, actually, this is the quality management program, uh, it's input here, and these are the organizational structure, and the output, and always in the process, uh, inside the uh, 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 quality process. And again, it is actually the quality assurance program. This is the organizational structure. And for this, we need a quality manual. Uh, it is a written quality manual and in the department, uh, in the hospital and uh, the quality manual has a double purpose in external and internal. The external to collaborate in other departments, in management and in other institution, it helps also integrate the department is strongly concerned with quality and internally uh, always uh, it needs improvement. So this is actually the ESTRO booklet. 
yeah, uh, you can also download it from the www.escrow.b uh, and they have not only this, they have many, many good, good books and uh, uh, plate. And this is actually the practical guideline for the implementation of a quality system in radiotherapy. And here, uh, uh, in the following, we will concentrate in this document, important arguments are why we need, once again, the construction of the quality system. Uh, uh, we have to implement the quality system. However, we are free to implement the system, any system which appears appropriate for us. Yeah, we do not need this document. You can, uh, you can actually uh, create your own system. Uh, this means, in principle, we can uh, develop any system, but it is actually save of time and mistakes. Uh, we use this book. Uh, how we construct uh, we, with the help of this book? Uh, every hospital can construct a quality system. The first step, the head of the department, institution support this whole process. He should not be the team leader but he supports. Sometimes there is a head of the department, uh, he is eager to do that, then you have easy. But you must convince him, otherwise the, you make a team and he is not allow the people to work in this time. So it is absurd things so like this. So it is actually the consent of the department head is very important, but he should not be the team leader at all earlier because uh, sometimes the communication gap with the head of the department, so nobody is free to do their own uh, uh, opinions and reviews. So uh, you have somebody, actually the medical physicist is the right person, the team leader of the whole assurance program or, or an assistant medical doctors, it is also possible. Yeah, uh, they will give free hand and time for that. Uh, so, the next one, implementation step of quality process. In this book, is the booklet clear defined how you prepare this, preparation, development, implementation and consolidation. Yeah, these are all steps are given very accurately. Here the preparation, uh, setting up the team, informing the department, inventory of the existing structure. Many hospitals we have the existing structure, but not uh, uh, coincides with each other. So, on uh, here, policy, preparing procedures, preparing work uh, instruction, and of course is very important, training and validation. Yes, in training we need money, and we have many, many hospital equipments, but no money for the training, the people, uh, so sometimes uh, in a big hospital, you arrange the trainer from outside to train in your hospital. So the training is very important. I have read in Scientific America or uh, something, a medical doctor needs in every day three to four hours only to read the publications and development. Yeah? And, uh, but I have asked my doctors, in one month they have never read a single report. Yeah? So this is actually the information we needed, and we have every hospital, there's a equipment, so very, very sophisticated equipment. But what is the education? Yes, the education is very, very negligible. Still, uh, uh, and here, yeah, preparation, one by one. I go not go to details. You see, when you have this uh, manuscript uh, booklet, you can follow them and can kind of draft and uh, discuss your, your team people and you can change it. It should be changed always because it's improve and improve and improve. And here involving and informing the department team, have just a, uh, the project team and here so the head of the department would not usually a team leader so I hope it uh, tail. And here actually the detailed preparation and planning, construction, how can you uh, detail uh, preparation and planning. You see here the whole process, it start maybe in one year in January and it's in, in the April of next year. 
that means one and half year need these four steps to realize yeah is in the beginning in this team they have to always have this work yeah sometimes you do not find them for any any other tax uh, so it's a this investigation is once and you have this structure and you can always improve it yeah they are meeting together uh, i will uh, show you a practical example here uh, here uh, setting the priority priority for example the brachy therapy everybody knows how the brachy therapy uh, uh, is the patient come from outside your patient is stationary in the other departments uh, you need a simulator you need treatment planning uh, involved um, uh, many many people medical faces doctors nurses gynecologist yeah sometimes a very very hectic so when you have a structured and function it's very well then you can also time to have a very good uh, treatment yes otherwise we have sometimes in hospital it is your daily uh, uh, experience you put the patient yeah uh, now the gynecologist they go to somewhere in delivery we are waiting and waiting and waiting so they have a clear uh, chart in who is gynecologist in this time to brachytherapy i have the own experience yeah we have started uh, we have not started we put the applicator in the patient on the gynecologist is uh, delivery there is a baby anywhere and one two three hours nothing the applicator again out of the patient and wait for him yeah such types of experience and so the quality management and the manual is very very important so everybody should and you have always the education teaching this course how we realize it and sometimes they can know you are doing the baki therapy in monday in monday is not possible on monday we have many many things why not you do the baki therapy in the even um, in the afternoon of wednesday so the and the wednesday maybe the radiotherapist is not available so these are all are very good discussion and do a clear program so you can realize better these are the problem yes here you see how it construct everything uh, which is the priority and uh, put sometimes there is no brachy therapy protocol how can you do that so in the quality management system they collect it from anywhere uh sometimes different uh, mistakes or uh, failures if so here in them case booking theater room may fall may fail if sources are not ordered in time to mess in with later steps yeah the every uh, um, quarter year we have the new sources maybe iridium and it should be also plan fit in the plan in here may fail if there is no system systematic approach to recording and communicating the decision onwards to subsequent step these are fail the every person is the team right in this position what is actually and discuss once again and redivide re uh, the process uh, here is actually in the uh, astro protocol they have given the uh, given the index yeah you have recognized some problem and you get critically the index point yeah between 1 to 10 and then again discuss and which can be realized earlier than the others so you do this yeah and development quality management system have already is a manual very important it is a written manual yeah the manual is a central part of the implement in fixation standard and method of compliance with the standard and there are three hierarchy levels in quality management system level 1 level 2 and level 3 uh, uh, it can be also done according to this protocol uh, implementation there is a training i uh, told you earlier this is very important and validation process inside the hospital yeah we validate it whether it is fit our requirements our potential and the training is use uh, things are uh, right and how can you have the training the uh, hospital is uh, obliged to take it free and the training it can be internal training and external training and validation process 
uh, it's very also important to construction of quality system and consolidation one times the internal audits and of course the external audits. External, external audits is actually the mandatory. I told you earlier in every two years they control it, the whole process radiotherapy, even yeah, the external audit they come and they check the, uh, the contour of organ of rigs. Yeah, we sit together, the whole team, and so you have drawn the organ of rigs like this, uh, in which stage, and we discuss here. Yeah. So they uh, recommend the next time to do that. Sometimes there is a treatment volume in some organ of rigs we do not uh, draw. They recommend us to draw the next time. So they, uh, we have always the control. Externally. Therefore, the, uh, after the uh, after the visit of the external control, we write everything, and through the internal control, we make it clear so that in next two years, again, we have more improvement. When there is a good cooperation with the external audit, then it's also an advantage for you. Internal audits, I do not need to explain, you know this, and then external audit, and all are summarized in this, uh, uh, letters and all the process is given. We have written in, the, in which paragraphs. And summary, a quality uh, management system can be implemented according to the S2 booklet. Yeah, we have also in different countries I have seen in America. And the practical guideline, the implementation of quality system in radiotherapy. The key, key messages of this recommendation are construct and formalize a quality system which is sensible practical, economical, and active, reactive. Convince the department the need of quality system. This is important, not only the department, also the administration should work together. Maybe when you have a team, anybody for the administration is also very good because he can uh, mediate your uh, um, needed to the uh, hospital authority. Respect in the initial planning and timing, encourage confidence of the personnel in the quality system, listen to comments of personnel on it, encourage participation in it and develop in it. Yeah, every person in the team, their own responsibility, when we grow also the respect, so that the, uh, the climate of the discussion, so everybody want to come to discussion, yes. It is not easy to achieve but uh, the team leader should be competent enough to bring all the personnel together to have a very quality, uh, quality assurance program, which is actually at the end and a very good outcome of our cancer treatment patient. Thank you very much for your attention.